our programs offer many languages, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Chương trình của chúng tôi cũng muốn nhiều ngôn ngữ xem xem suprememastertv.com lịch chiếu schedule. is now coming into the divine order of the universal celestial heavens. All nations and governments are now under the control of the holy angels of the Lord. Please continue watching to find out more. Sincere greetings, joyful viewers. I'm Aiden. The gracious people of American Samoa share your devotion to the divine within. May all spiritual journeys be sustained through the merciful grace of God. The spirited monthly newspaper, The World's Advanced Thought, was a monthly periodical founded by Lucy A. Mallory in 1886. The paper's motto was Love is the Way, the Truth, and the Life. Mrs. Lucy Mallory contributed her own spiritual writings as well as the inspired contributions of others. She served as writer, editor, and publisher of the paper, which had an international readership that included renowned Russian author and vegetarian Leo Tolstoy. Through this uplifting publication, Lucy Mallory highlighted themes that emphasized the inner light of the human being. She also advocated vegetarianism for its loving kindness to other beings. Throughout her life, Lucy Mallory acted on her humanitarian beliefs. She used her own funds to open a school for children of color so that they could receive an education. As an animal rights activist and vegetarian herself, she hosted meetings of the local vegetarian society in her newspaper's office. She once said, vegetarianism is becoming worldwide. We are not speaking of forced vegetarianism. That doesn't count. We are speaking of vegetarians who have adopted the humane diet because of a sense of justice to animals. We now share with you selections from the periodical, The World's Advanced Thought. The Universal Power Instead of matter being the universal power, it is just the reverse. It eternally operates to pull the universe to pieces. Its operation may be likened to the conduct of an unruly child, whose parents overrule it against its will. Gravitation is the negative evil principle, the devil of human superstition. Spirit is just the opposite of the devil principle, the positive god force that saves and preserves. The celestial life is an upward attraction in every force of matter. The bodily reappearance of Jesus was an imitation of a mortal life in the mask of death. It was the only way the lower human consciousness, not quickened out of devil matter perception, could be reached. And now, after the slow growth of 18 centuries from the planting of the hidden germ, the true consciousness is just beginning to unfold. 
it is just beginning to be realized that the consciousness must live above the negative force of gravity, before the positive law of life, or the attractive upward principle, instead of the downward pulling principle. It can operate to free the matter-imprisoned soul so that it may mingle with the universe and become awakened to its divine nature as a part of the eternal verities. The celestial life is dominant over the existence, just as the force that directs the planet in towards the sun dominates the opposing force that would carry it off into the abysmal depths. The animal man will soon abdicate to the divine human. A world of love. The world shall yet become the home of that great second Adam seed. Christ forms both male and female who from God derive their ever-growing perfectness, eventually shall possess the earth and speak the rhythmic language of the skies and mightier miracles than Christ perform. They shall remove all sickness from the race, cast out all evils from the church and state, and hurl into oblivion's hollow sea the mountains of depravity. Then earth, from the Antarctic to the Arctic pole, shall blush with flowers. The isles and continents teem with harmonic forms of bird and beast, and fruit and glorious shapes of art more fair than man's imagination has yet conceived adorned the stately temples of a new divine religion. Every human soul, a second Adam or a second Eve, shall dwell with its pure counterpart, conjoined in sacramental marriage of the heart. God shall be everywhere, and not, as now, guessed at, but apprehended, felt, and known. The golden grains of truth are ripe. This is the harvest of the age just past. The old night now vanishes in the glorified sunrise of the new. To the children being born now, this is going to be a glorious world. One of these days, the elixir of life will be discovered. Divine order triumphs. Peace comes at last. Glory be to the angels of the Lord and the spiritual hosts of the good and true. The general breaking up of the old has come. It may take millions of years to prepare a whole world for the true spiritual forces to completely govern a planet. But when the time arrives, the transformation is made in the twinkling of an eye. God thinks and the world moves. Voice of Prophecy We are coming into the time of times when joy will reign supreme. When the spirit rules the flesh, you can then live in the physical body as long as you want to. The great and the good are only known as you grow greatness and goodness within yourself. The peace power, the peace that surpasses understanding, now gains the victory over the unpeaceful power. The sunshine angels of the heaven of love and wisdom now appear, and the gloom demons of earth vanish. The day of emancipation from the slavery of waiting for some God to help us to do what we are perfectly capable of doing ourselves draws nigh. There is a remarkable change being inaugurated that will make life more valuable, and the question, is life worth living, will be answered by the self of everyone.
world is now coming into the divine order of the universal celestial heavens. All nations and governments are now under the control of the holy angels of the Lord. When the divine human appears on this planet, the whole world, from pole to pole, will know it without any introduction, any more than the sunrise needs to be announced by human means. The holy angels of the Lord are at the head. There's going to be a mighty big change in the world now, and lots of inharmonies are going to drop out, much sooner than one would think it possible for them to disappear. This time, it is the angels of the Lord that issue the worldwide proclamation of emancipation, the emancipation of the souls of humanity from slavery, the midnight, sensual darkness of ignorant minds and hearts enslaved to falseness, corruption, discord, and cruelty. Earth's Release Earth, thou art now in thy transition soon. Thou shalt receive God's best and noblest boon. Release from all thy anguish, fierce and dire. Soon, weary earth, heaven's air thou shalt respire. While angels throng around thee, thou shalt wake in heaven's serene and ever-blessed state. Of love and freedom, angels round thee throng. O earth, they chant their happy-voiced song. Not that is thine shall perish stately thrones, and priestly dungeons, these are but the bones, of that old perishable shape that dies, and crumbles over thy head celestial skies, wreath crowns of light with visions of sweet peace. They fill thy breast and give thy soul release. And we shall meet in thy divine embrace, O love, divinest love. What of this new day? By an angel of the Lord. The world is full of beauty. The globe is full of light. Love is the ruling deity. Right now displaces might. Only in peace can rest abide. To be at peace with oneself is to worship God. All days are holy days when we live in peace. Then the Lord will bless you, the world will bless you, and then will one live in the blessedness of living. Seek and you shall surely find that which gives continual joy and peace. The Lord is over all, the Lord doeth its will in you when the mind is at peace. The world will be glad. All things will be made new. Cleanliness and order will abound in all places. Jails and punishments will be transformed by love. Divine blessings will come. Jubilant viewers, it's been a pleasure to have your company on today's Words of Wisdom. May the melodies of heaven uplift and renew your soul. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW.